and welcome back. So today's look features a classic red lip with a bold winged liner and really nice wavy hair. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So today I will be using the Remington T Studio Silk Dryer. This hair dryer features three heat settings along with two speed settings. And it also has a cool shop button that releases cool air. And then when the blow dryer is on, the blue light turns on and I attached the airflow concentrator to it. You'll need a hair drying brush as well as some clips. And let's begin. So you want to start off with detangled washed hair. It's just damp. It's not soaking wet because the wetter the hair is, the longer it'll take to dry. I'm sectioning off a piece from the bottom and I'm going to be taking this brush and rolling my hair around it and then I'm using the concentrator to really apply heat to that particular area so that it straightens out. And then I'm dragging the hair dryer down and then rolling at the ends. This is what is going to create that wave at the end and I'm just repeating these steps. Depending on how thick and long your hair is, you're probably going to have to do this multiple times per section. And then the end result should be a very nice loose wave. And basically you're just going to repeat these steps all throughout your head. Then what I like to do is just comb out my hair and then roll it into a circle. This is going to help the hair set into the nice wave. So once you roll it through your fingers all the way up to the top or to the nape of the neck, then you are going to clip it. So once you've done this throughout your entire head, you should be left with your bangs. I'm again taking that brush and rolling it all the way up to the root. And then I decided to take off the concentrator for this because I wanted to apply more direct heat to the front just because my hair is very frizzy and thick so I just wanted a little bit more heat but again just repeating that process and really creating a nice wave at the bottom by rolling the hairbrush as you guys can see. And then again just rolling the hair upward and clipping it so that the curl sets. Now we're moving on to the makeup. So I decided to take this matte peachy color and run it into the crease. Whenever I do a red lip, I really like to incorporate warm colors into my look. I think that it ties everything together. So just with a fluffy blending brush, work this into your crease. Then I'm taking a shade that's about two or three shades darker than that previous shade. And I'm using a more tapered blending brush and I'm just focusing this in the crease just to add a little bit more definition and to really diffuse those colors. I decided to place a shimmery champagne color on the lid. Now for the winged liner, you want to start in the center of your eyelid and just work your way outward. Create a line and then bring it back inward to create that wing and of course fill it in. This is going to take a lot of practice but just keep trying, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. I'm just placing a nude pencil in my waterline. I love to do this to open up the eyes and then following that with a coat of mascara and I am going to be applying false lashes. I'm using these very wispy lashes. So for blush, I wanted to use something again that was warm toned so I'm taking this warm apricot blush and applying it to my cheeks. And then of course you guys know that I need highlighter, so I'm taking this highlighter, it's a nice champagne color, and placing that on my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow, and on the bridge of my nose to really highlight those areas. Now for the lips, we're doing a red lip, so you want to be very, very careful when applying your lip liner. Try to perfect it because if you don't, it's really hard to wipe off. I'm just outlining my lips to define them, and then I am filling them in with a metallic red lip gloss. Time to let these curls loose so just remove all the clips and then just run your hands through your hair just to sort of form it and shape it into the hairstyle that you like and this is the completed look I really hope that you guys all enjoyed it and happy holidays